Okay, hey lot, haven't posted on here in years. Let's just not talk about it. I'm just gonna carry on like normal because I want to. First of all, I've been like getting into caps recently, but like I don't know if I should be getting into caps because caps is like TikTok straight boy, like kind of energy. And I don't know if I really like hold that. Um, but if I like push on my head to the front and do one of these, like I feel like I look kind of cool. I don't know, these sunglasses are a bad example, but I don't know where any of my other ones are. I had some Tom Ford ones that I got as a gift and they like broke because I went to a man recently with my friend because her parents live there and we like went, dream matching is like where they drive you around in these cars and they just like go crazy and like this guy did not have a driving license for a fact, but he drove better than me. <laughs> Anyway, he like crashed in the first three seconds. And yeah, my Tom Ford sunglasses broke, so I'm gonna have to go and get those fixed. But they didn't break, but they're just like loose. So I just wanna make sure I don't break them. I actually wanna make a whole video about that. Like, I don't wanna talk about it, but a nice piece of jewelry I had broke and it's taking far too long to fix. I sound like such a bloody idiot, but listen, first world, third world problems. Also, no, 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 no. I'm not gonna go brush my hair. My hair is fluffy. My hair is like annoying. This is kind of what this video is gonna be. I'm just gonna be like doing my makeup and like telling you how I go from this to like a prettier version of myself. I Also, can I just say I don't want to be a pretty boy. I'm just gonna show you how I enhance that because that's what God gave me and that's what I have to work with. And also I can't be asked to put in the hours to like start being buff and like doing all that. Like I'd love to, but it's just not within, it's not in my, it's not in my like one year plan. It might be my five year plan, who knows. You should obviously start with skincare, but like I'm, I don't care. I did get a spot here the other day, which is, I can't believe I just showed you that. I might blur that out. Like I might censor that. But yeah, look at my makeup bag. Actually, this is my skincare bag full of skincare that I don't use. Um, actually, I'll use some of it. Why not? It's Greyhounds that look like David Bowie. My mom got it for me. Love you, mum. This is the La Roche Posay. Tolerine de la It's like an eye cream. You'll find it. Anyway, it's supposed to help again. I love London. I love London. Oh yeah, I moved to London since I posted. Um, I have a whole new life now. I've been here for two years. That must have been the last time I posted. And yeah, it's going well. London is awful, but it's also amazing. Like there's so much to do. There's so many opportunities here. There's so many like cool people, but also awful people. But like that was expected. And I guess if you don't know how to play the game, you're gonna get played. But like, I kind of understand that it's like me versus the world. And like, this is a whole little thing, like a little thing I'm sitting in and I just need to work out what's going on. Like, I think I'm quite sane, although I'm not at all, obviously. Anyway, next I'm gonna use the La Roche Posay B5 serum because why not? Also, I don't know anything about skincare so i just like went into boots and picked the most expensive things and i was like mm, those should work which as much as like skincare people will probably be like oh my god that's an awful idea is it really because like the expensive stuff is probably gonna work like let's be real you know when you buy like the cheap version of something and then you're like oh i should have just bought the expensive one anyway you end up buying it so like you may as well have just started with that and i just know i'm gonna turn into a hag within like the next three years and i just can't be asked and i feel like this does tighten somewhat no i don't know how to do this in like a glamorous way so like just shut up. Then I have this Briotech topical skin spray, which is apparently like hand sanitizer for your face and you can like use it on your pillows and stuff. And I just got, I just got it my mouth. It tastes like ass, don't try it. Oh God, that really tastes bad. Oh God, I just look like a dog that's got out the swimming pool. Like, hold on, hate these things. Like, oh, I feel like I'm gonna snap it off. Like it's just so fragile and just stupid. Like the amount of times people must have broke these and then have like shot, rubbing shards of glass in their face. Oh, I, I got a gua shot the other, literally two days ago. I've used it once, I'm already over it. Like, no, fuck it. Okay, so first of all, I'm using the Hourglass Concealer. Yes, I use concealer. Yes, my boy. Let's just get over it. This is kind of like a video for like gay boys and for girls who just like want to know who I am. Okay, so first things first, I put this next to my nose because I get a lot of like redness next to my nose, which is just something I notice. It's very, very like small, but I feel like when I cover it, it makes a big difference. What I'll do is I'll just lay a little bit of this down, but not directly under my eye because that's like a whole separate situation. And then I'll kind of let that sit because I feel like you can put a lot less concealer on if you just kind of let it sit. So I'll do that. Like, I feel like it's good to go here and here, like under your lips. And I always do my chin because my chin like is also red. So the reason I wear concealer is literally because I have redness. Like I'm very white. Ooh, oh my God, I literally, that's like cringing me out. I do not know how to deal with that. Having a spot for me is like having a fucking sign on my head that says I'm pregnant. Like it's really embarrassing. I'll go like this. Mm, 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 mm. You know? Cause if I make this lighter, it makes my treatments look better. You'll see. Also I have a beauty blender, but I'm not using it because I don't know, I kind of, I'm kind of over the beauty blender thing. Like I get it, but like it's also, I don't really believe in it. Like I'm kind of, um, I'm almost like anti the beauty blender, which is kind of a sin to say, I think, but they're kind of really stupid. And like, they, they get gross. Like this is gross to me, I don't know. Even if you're not doing a full face, which I'm obviously not, like everyone has kind of like redness under their nostrils, especially in winter time. So yeah, I just hit it under there, like a little bump of coke. So anyway, yeah, I kind of just like mess around with the concealer until I'm happy with like how much shit I've put on my face. I'm doing my dissertation. Anyway, I did a film course, thank God. Like I didn't do like English or something where I had to write shit on the essays. Saying that I do have to write a lot of essays, but I did a film course and I can basically choose whether I want to do um a, like 20,000 word dissertation. You know where people have to like write a book after university or I can just make a film. So obviously I'm gonna do that because I'm not 
actually stupid and it'll be way easier and also i'll enjoy it more but like i'm also not gonna enjoy it because i just can't do that right now also i live on a busy street so like there's lots of sirens there's lots of crackheads there's just annoying people everywhere like i'm over it that's the other thing about london like i want to move it like it's mayfair or nothing it's like i want like south Kent, molly bone minimum next year like i just can't do this whole like student living thing and obviously i live with friends like i'm having a good time like obviously i'm a student but like i'm not gonna be a student soon so i need to like figure my shit out but also i don't want to live in like a student house like i want to have a nice house i want to have a nice job i want to be like vibing as much as i love doing social media and like that has actually funded my entire university process like through when i was from when i used to be like a bigger tiktoker also yeah my account got deleted glitch boy my new account is glory Wear. it has like 100k i'm doing okay on there and like i still do brand deals and like i do some videos for different brands like i work with hollister Fila. i've done some stuff for like some apps and whatnot like random stuff just to like you know still say like engage on social media but it's not necessarily like my passion and i want to get more into like the real world industry as well as kind of doing social media on the Side. but i feel like social media was always just like fun for me more of like a passion because i've been doing it since i was like 16 and look i'm 20 here still filming this video oh my god i'm 20 i don't feel 20 i don't want to talk about it anyway next product fucking finally i use the one size powder foundation but as a powder because i can just put less on and i literally just do this under my eyes because otherwise i find with this powder it's gonna get really cakey so i literally just like dust it and then i'll go on my cheeks on my chin and everywhere i just put the bloody concealer yeah anyway so here i'm looking it's still looking quite skin like i think i have a too bag full of like random stuff in my bed i promise i'm not like trying to flex this it's literally full of actually i'm gonna do what's in my old um bag haul i have a pillow from my dead granny i have uh i have a pack of a band bag with a guitar air freshener in it a bag full of bows that i got because i wanted to like do some stuff with bows not makeup wise but i just think bows are like cool no you know look, look i have a little bow hair but like i hate to say this i think it's like a little bit too gay for me and then i have a margella hat that i've never worn how funny is this oh my god i have to have this hat it's the ugliest thing i've ever seen and like i'm kind of obsessed with that but i don't know where i'd wear it so yeah, okay, anyway. Oh my god, my mum got me a mug for Halloween. Like, I love any tacky skeleton thing. Like, I don't care how old I am, like, what type, of, what time of the year it is. If there's, like, shitty Halloween decor or, like, graphics, I want it. Honestly, that's just, like, who I am. Also, my hair's starting to look really gross. So, like, I'm just gonna dry shampoo it and, like, hope for the best. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, so another thing you need to be doing is, like, setting spray, like, constantly. Also, do you see how now I look ghostly white? That's because I like to, like, put pale on and then build on top of it with colours because I feel like if you go the other way around, it looks like you're like trying to make yourself look darker and you're using like the wrong color foundations and da da da. Like, I don't know, I don't use foundation and all of that, but in my mind, that's kind of how it works. So next I'll use the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the second shade and it's literally like the, like it's basically, it's basically nothing. Like I basically got scammed. This thing is literally nothing. My friend has the first shade of this and I swear to God, it's the color of dust. It's the color of dust. And like she uses it, but she's like really white. Like that's all we're doing here. We're really not doing much. We're just like adding some color. So yeah, and also this isn't contour. So I put it on like the high points, but I don't really put much because I feel like putting a big brown streak on the side of your face is very like telling that like, look at me. Like I've got so much makeup on, which like isn't really what I'm trying to do. So I won't leave it just there. I'll kind of put it all around because I do kind of want to look a little bit more tan than I do. Um, not even that, I think it just brings a little bit of color like into that like really white ass concealer i have my friend always makes fun of how white my concealer is but it's like that's just how i like it like i just like it that way and something you're gonna notice is i always put it like here like under my eyes like i always want to like make that under eye concealer not look like white like i'm on coke like i don't want that anyway that's kind of done so now we're gonna go into blush okay this is where a lot of you guys fuck up i understand we love blush everyone loves blush can we stop on tiktok with like the cream blush that's like out here like girls you look stupid like, no one in real life does that, and I hate to say it, but, like, it's just getting a bit silly. Like, the massive pink sheet with the under eye, like, no. Like, I do blush on my under eye to kind of, like, neutralize it, and I also have really pink skin, so it does help. So I have a bone in my nose, and, like, I can't really contour around it. Like, there's no point of even trying, because it would just look silly, because, like, it just wouldn't work. So what I like to do is just put blush on the end to, like, make my tip look more round, and, like, it's cute, I guess. Okay, next up, I'm gonna use a liquid blush, but not how lots of you people use it. I literally, I'm just gonna... So I have these like two white dots through the side of my nose. You can kind of see more on this side because the light's here. But like, you see this kind of white patch? I don't know what that is. I just have like a little white patch. So I like to like fill it in just like this and just get rid of it because I don't want it there. And I feel like everyone has little things like this where you notice it about your face, but like everyone else would be like, what? But yeah, I feel like everyone has little things about their face that like only you would notice, but you need to fix it. That's my thing. It's these weird white dots. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like sun damage or something or like I got hit by a car when I was born or something. Like I couldn't tell you, but that's what it feels. And now obviously I look like Rudolph. Like this looks really stupid. So I'll take a puff. No, this isn't a stupid trigger one. I literally like stole it out of like a makeup thing. I don't even know what it is. I'll use this little skinny tip thing and kind of just like that, you know, just get rid of the blush. 
so it's only where I want it. Okay, then I'm gonna brush that away, and now I go in with a blush brush, and I do my blush, and I have pink skin, so I just put this over everything to kind of like give everything a little bit of a pink hue. And I know that might sound really strange. And also you need to be bringing like the blush onto your forehead a bit, just to like make it look more neutral. I know I'm not a makeup expert, but like people think I'm attractive and I wear makeup, so I think I have something to say. Like, no, I don't have the prettiest routine for everything I do, probably because I'm a boy. Shocker. I kind of just like do things and like they work how they work and that's that. And then every time I do that I get like a big pink line on either side of my nose because I'm like shoving this massive brush in my face. So I just take the powder again and just like go over that and get rid of it. Okay, I swear this video is like somewhat informational. Okay, so something I want to say, some of you look really stupid. Like guys out there, if you're trying to be pretty, like do makeup like you're a girl. Do it like you're a woman. Like don't go crazy. Like don't do big things of blush like screaming over your face. Do it like white eyeliner, like eyelashes. It doesn't look good. First of all, you're a boy. Those things were made for girls. I hate to say it, but like it's just true. Like, it's not going to look how it looks on a girl. Like, if a girl gets eyelash extensions, in society, like, girls have a mascara on everywhere they go. Like, we're used to seeing girls with, like, big black eyelashes. If you, as a boy, go and get eyelash extensions and you don't have any makeup on, or you just... Or you just walk out the house, like, you're gonna look a little bit silly, and I hate to say it, and that's just my opinion, like, you can obviously do what you want, but, like, to society, like, truth be told, you're, it's not gonna work. Like, I don't wear mascara, because it's just, it looks ridiculous. Unless you're, like, an extremely femme boy, like, you look kind of, like, androgynous in that way, I think that's super cool, but, like, if you're just trying to be a pretty boy, like, you're gonna look avoidable, if that makes sense. Also, yes, my liquid blush was from She Glam. I got sent it, though, and I don't even use liquid blush, I just started using it because I had it. I don't like liquid blush, I think it's stupid, like, it clogs up my cheek, it just looks fucking ridiculous. Anyway, I'm just using this, like, Bobbi Brown thing, because the this, I used to like this one. This is ash brown. Because I feel like when you're blonde, like, you need to find a colour that looks basically like your eyebrows. Otherwise, you're going to look, again, really stupid. I've had the Bobbi Brown one. I've had the Hourglass one. The Bobbi Brown one's better. The Hourglass one runs out like that. It's not great. And also, it broke so many times and it was so frustrating. And I took care of it. With my eyebrow pencils, they always, like, shatter and, like, break off everywhere. So with that Hourglass one, I was treating it like it was, like, my child. Like, and it still cracked everyone. It was a piece of shit. So, don't get it. Just do, like, bold glamour filter makeup, but, like, tone down. So, like, you're just going to give yourself more contour, make your skin clear big lips big eyebrows and trust me you will look better okay i draw lines like that and then i just use this thing and like blend it out because i don't really have any makeup on anywhere else i can kind of just like play with it with my fingers anyway yeah so i just want the front to be like a lot thicker because it's really really um sparse in the front there so we just kind of thicken that out and then i'm literally just going to do this on my eyebrow and like make it thicker and darker like i know this is ridiculous but i'm just scrubbing it around then brush that through and then on the underside kind of just like see how like i feel like this is like sperm eyebrow territory where it's flat and then it goes up like i just want to like get rid of that if that makes sense so it just looks like it's going straight across and then i'll drag it out further like this and give myself like a little tail and that's how i do my eyebrow i really don't care if people think i'm wearing makeup like the, the people i surround myself with won't care and like if someone cares they can literally suck my dick like i don't care but at the same time i don't want like a granny to look at me and think i'm a drag queen you know so i do like to find a happy medium anyway yeah honestly i've gone a bit further than i usually would because i'm on the camera and i can't really tell what i'm doing but worst things worse if the eyebrows look crazy just put your hair in front of it and it'll be fine this one this one needs to go. But anyway, they look better. Okay, then find a lip liner. Find one that's just the shade as your lips. Like, don't go crazy. Don't try and be like, I don't know. Like, we're not trying to give Jeffree Star. I have a really pink lip, so I use this. And also, like, don't put it on, like, in a line. And then, like, fill it in with, like, a lipstick. Like, no. Use a lip liner. Get one that's, get one that's soft and, like, creamy. This is just a NYX one. Um, I have ones from Bobbi Brown that are great. The dual ones suck. I wouldn't go near those. I do a line like this. And then I just, well, well. And then smudge it out. And then here, my lips are, like, not coloured, so I just colour it in. And, like, yes, overline, but don't do it with a shade that's, like, completely different from your, like, lip colour. Or, and don't be, like, this, like, trying to make yourself look like Caitlyn Jenner. Does she have big lips? I don't know. Anyway, then use a clear lip gloss or just a lip balm. I can't find either of the ones I like, so right now I have this Sephora one that burns like sin. It literally feels like you've just kissed a frying pan. It's called Outrageous Intense, and I would agree. It feels like hell on your lips. And then this is a slush puppy lip balm. Naturally, I'm going for that one. Anyway, yeah, we're basically done. But last few things I do is I'll take some powder like this and I will do a little line here. I'll do a little line like this. Kind of like give myself a better cheekbone like this. You see how it's kind of a line? Um, but yeah, I don't want it to look too crazy. But yeah, that's what I do. I went out last night and all my like stuff is in. Oh, this is a lip liner I really like. You know, everyone has that one that's like gross. This one's like the perfect color for me. And then I use this Paco Rabanne thing. It's actually an eyeshadow. I really like the packaging and I wanted something. Oh no. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm literally gonna kill someone. The fucking ugly ass glitter shade has like leaked into this one. I am, I'm absolutely devastated. Look at this shade. Where am I gonna use that on my face? Where? And there's like a cream in here that I really like. I'm gonna try and, okay, some of that glittery stuff is probably mixed in with it, but like whatever. I use this, it's just like a eyeshadow, but it's like a gel um, for like 
It's for like wet eye looks, but if you put it on your cheeks, first of all, it gives you like a nice little glowy glow and it also distracts from all of the makeup you've got on your cheeks. And the next thing I'll do is take it and put it on my hot eyelids, but just like to make them look wet. And I don't know why, but I just feel like this makes me look like healthier and it makes me look glowy. And I don't want eyeshadow or anything, but I've started doing this and I really like how it looks. Yeah, I'll just put that on. I love this product. I brought it out with me last night and it's clearly shattered in my bag. So I won't be doing that again, but I kind of run out of it anyway. And then I'll just pat over it with a beauty blender because again, I don't want it to look too intense. And anyway, I'll kind of like drag that dewiness like all over, like I'll put it on the tip of my nose and like hair and hair. Just bring some life back into my face. Okay, yeah, now we're done. Look at this little pot of Vaseline I got also. I got it in the Middle East, so funny. I have a dolphin bracelet. Anyway, I found some jewelry in the pocket of these jeans. So, okay, that's enough. We're done. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll give you a better look now. But before that, I did see this thing on TikTok that I want to try. Does this look cool? Do I need a thicker scarf? Okay, that looks so dumb. I literally want to cut myself. Here's my finished, here's my finished look. I think I look great. Um, this is what I look like on most days when I'm going out to see my friends. I'll give you a closer look and I'll probably put some more setting spray on, but yeah. It's nothing crazy. It's just like, it's just like me, but prettier, we can say. And there you go. Any questions, let me know. I feel like I need to give a more in-depth tutorial because this was really just like me rambling, but I will do that. Just let me know. Also, what do you want me to do? Tell me videos to film because I might start doing some. Okay, bye.